Okay, how many here, show of hands, have you either listened to or watched Janelle Fu's episode of Cracked? During that episode, we discuss why pink glass is so expensive. I had my thoughts on it. Uh, I repeated what I had heard. I was completely wrong. Janelle shared what she had heard. She was partially right. Uh, but luckily, Leslie Green of Bespoke Glass, she knows and she sent me an email breaking it down for me. And so with her permission, I asked first, I'm going to read this email to you. So here we go. Hey guys, just listening to the podcast and can give a little info on the whole pink glass cost issue. It's true, there is gold in some pinks, usually the warmer ones, but most of the bluer, cooler pinks have erbium. Not sure how this compares price-wise, but many of the raw elements are expensive. There are no dyes involved in glass colors. The glass is all melted from raw materials and weight proportions, just like a recipe. This mix is called batch and generally includes compounds that make up clear glass, silica, soda, and lime, plus raw materials that add color, copper, tin, cobalt, gold, etc., plus other agents that adjust the stability, melting quality, clarity, COE compatibility, these sorts of things. So that's true for basically all the glass we use for stained glass, and the toxicity isn't really different between the colors. The most toxic part of the process is when the materials are being mixed and the furnaces are being charged as it's a lot of toxic airborne particles floating around. Basically dust is the real dangerous part and that's universal regardless of color. There are issues with emissions from the melting of the materials, but that's typically stuff that can be solved with how the factory is built. Although this problem has greatly changed our industry in the US because some of our factories were in the middle of now thriving cities especially Portland. I remember that. That's a whole other story though. What makes pinks, reds, and oranges so expensive, aside from the materials, is that they burn out way faster than blues and greens. Meaning, if you melt an entire furnace of a gold pink glass, you can only use some portion of it before the color burns out. Pinks being the shortest of all the colors, I believe. Since these colors are meant to be replicable, when the color starts to burn out and doesn't match the color standard, the glass has to be used for something else. And this is sometimes what's called limited runs or uncategorized colors. Anyway, I don't know if that is at all interesting. It is or not, but maybe there will be some glass production category at a trivia night sometime. You never know. You never know. The podcast sounds great. And thank you for the kind words, Janelle. XL. This is important. This is important that we know this kind of stuff. And thank you, Leslie, for enlightening us. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm going to copy and paste a big portion of this email. It won't all fit, but I'm going to put a lot of it into Janelle Fu's show notes underneath her episode, wherever you're listening, uh, so you can revisit it and reread it and check back with it and all of those things because I know I had to read it a couple times to really understand what was going on. Anyway, that's it. Happy Monday. Bye.